The BMW i3 was created to be a sustainable product from the beginning to the end of its life cycle. Every step along the way from development to production to utilization and finally recycling has been optimized to have as minimal an impact on the planet as possible. But one important aspect of the BMW i3's life cycle is in the hands of the drivers themselves, and that's how the vehicle is used. Though the BMW i3 produces zero tailpipe emissions while driving, some driving styles will drain the batteries faster than others, meaning more time charging and more total energy being expended. So to make the most efficient use of your new BMW i3, let's take a look at several features that can help lower your impact on the environment as a driver. In the instrument cluster, the performance display located just below the speedometer is a good gauge of how efficiently you're driving. The left side of this bar lets you know when the car is recovering charge, such as when decelerating or braking. The right side of the bar notifies you when you're expending or consuming energy, such as when accelerating. As you drive, you'll notice the indicator move back and forth along this bar. The blue area of this bar is the most efficient range of performance, and keeping the indicator in this range means you're driving in an efficient style. As a general strategy, avoiding hard acceleration, allowing the car to coast without accelerator input, and when possible, decelerating without braking help to stay in the efficient range. To improve efficiency even more, you can switch your BMW i3's driving mode to Eco Pro or Eco Pro Plus using the Driving Dynamics Control button located here in the center console. Now these modes optimize drive control, lighting and comfort functions to maximize energy saving. Eco Pro mode reduces the heat output of heated mirrors and seats, reduces the heating and cooling output of the climate control system, and it recommends a limit of the vehicle's speed between 50 and 80 miles per hour. And this limit can be exceeded by firmly depressing the accelerator if you're in a situation where you need some more speed, like you're trying to merge into traffic a little bit more safely. Eco Pro Plus takes this a step further, fully deactivating heated mirrors and seats, as well as the heating and cooling output of the climate control system. In addition, it recommends a limit of the vehicle speed to 55 miles per hour. Though again, this can be consciously exceeded by firmly depressing the accelerator. When in Eco Pro or Eco Pro Plus modes, you will also see Eco Pro tips appear in the instrument cluster in the form of symbols to suggest more efficient driving techniques. For example, this symbol indicates to back off the accelerator, and this symbol means to reduce the vehicle speed. EcoPro can also display more detailed tips as notes when the energy flow display is active. To turn on this feature, use the iDrive controller to select Vehicle Info from the main menu and then choose eDrive. And finally, EcoPro Tips. EcoPro can also give more detailed feedback based on its analysis of your driving style. To take advantage of this, first make sure one of the EcoPro driving modes is activated and then navigate to Vehicle Info from the main menu of the iDrive control display. Next, select eDrive and then Driving Style Analysis. This will bring you to a display that looks like this, with a curved road and some stars next to it. EcoPro will reference the last 15 minutes of driving to graphically display the efficiency of your driving style. The more efficiently you drive, the smoother the road will appear and the more stars you will receive. Looks like this driver wasn't driving as efficiently as possible. EcoPro tips will also appear during the course of your drive to help improve efficiency even more.